What if I told you that at one point in time, chess meant everything? Even Stalin cared so much about his reputation as a chess master to the point where he publicized a fake game against Nikolai Yezhev. Stalin later unalived the guy, maybe to keep this a secret or maybe Yezhev might have known a bit about medicine. Jokes aside, it is well known that the Soviet Union was a chess superpower and that Russia carried on dominating for years to come. Though slowly but surely everything was starting to change, and in the present, Russia hasn't won a world championship since 2007. So why did this happen? To understand Russia's decline in chess, we first need to understand how they became so powerful in the first place. It's all thanks to this guy, Vladimir Lenin. He loved chess, and he thought chess was a game meant for leaders and wise people. He then appointed Nikolai Krylenko to lay the foundation of state-sponsored chess, meaning the state would open chess school, host tournaments, and promote the game as much as possible. And six years later, chess prodigy Alexander Alekhine became the first Russian to win a world tournament. After this, 500,000 players registered into the state chess program. Children were then presented chess at a very early age and were pushed to engage in tournaments with their peers. And at some point, it even got treated like an academic subject. Essentially, everyone was working together to become as strong as possible. But USSR had an advantage. They were isolated. While the rest of the world was playing checker, USSR was perfecting their chess skills and teaching their youth to play chess as efficiently as possible. It naturally became a closed system. Players from other countries couldn't get the same level of training, and the gap between Soviet players and everyone else grew. But it all started to go down when USSR broke up. The top chess players at the time started to migrate to other countries, and thus taking with them the knowledge they had accumulated during the Soviet training. The closed system broke, and everyone was now on the same playing field when it came to the available information. To make things worse, chess was no longer being promoted and funded like before. Russia was now in the same playing field, and former Soviet bloc countries also became chess powers. But the final nail in the coffin was the loss of Kasparov against Deep Blue. Russians wanted to be the best and not the best human chess players. As a result, the popularity of chess dropped dramatically, and with less chess players, there were also less champions capable of being at the top. This isn't to say that Russia is now weak compared to the rest, they still dominate chess in numbers, but their dominance in chess has seen better days. And one of the reasons might also be this guy. <laughs> 